Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King on the PS2 is a video game featuring Protege Grinning, Brilliant Celebration, Storytime Man, Size Teddy Bear Gag Comedy, Depressing Sad Softening Lines and Narrow Winding Strines, An Epic Gaff for Cape Strong with Table Effort, Nice Slumps on the Couch, Great Artistic Confetti, Half Drain Enemies Soaked into Battering Solid Fluids of Creativity, Epic Shapes Design Drop in a Midair Tune at a Time, Dot the Lights It's Gonna Be a Fun Battling System with a New Recipe Book. Mixing techniques with combining items and gratifying support. Nice revelers. No ceilings full of hope, but greatness boss gestures that become solid and among the best designs you can counterattack all the time. Ben Gun gigs. Nice invitations and storytelling people. Though dropping copies of old enemies you used to love in the Dragon Quest series. Action, see it, do it, and feel the need, and the need for speed. The battle time has been spread out in an authentic way, engaging the embrace of inner gameplay, a nice authentic way to simulate bullet games to an RPG style game. Imaging scanning for skies, a real aircraft of using magical spells to search bogey enemies and what they are about. Turn around, the fight is amotious of quick delusions and outmurvening your opponent, putting the sword sight on them or axe blind attack as well. Love the characters, how they speak freely and squeeze like a trigger of good voice input. Square did a good job on that, and well done part. Watch an enemy rift and smoke and erupt and blast. To watch, nice tactical jetting worlds to explore. Great Valley Mines are reminiscing decades. You can travel to ice valleys, volcano pits, tombs, and towns. Maybe dark reef and rook and caves. So much landscapes, and some are very creative and really fun to explore, additionally for item treasure. It doesn't mean to pre our the guidance, the end experience, and guiding it can take a while, but it's worth it. And in the end, it makes a long game highly trained and pushing envelopes to the par biting surface. Active services, exhilarating stresses, both rigorous physical and mentally, nice cockpit full of enemies, and deranged bosses. Great abilities to toss around about and to take aim and light them up. Nice missions of tailored experience points, very put out aggression solutions, outsmart the baddies and deal with challenges better. Pretend visuals. Sight minded zooming on cameras make a difference without entering a battle or exploring the vast world. Very sightseeing recommendations, unspoiled beaches. I love the direct, immersive dialogue you get to read about when you have the option to turn the voices off and on. I love how you can roam, swim and slide reels, and smoothly enough to avoid inducing nausea and require serious computing power. Love the animation real well, and the head movements move quite nicely. That really sums it up. I give this game a 10 slash 10, one of the best creative sparks of magic you can find on the PlayStation 2. That combines business and RPG mechanics really well. It's on disappointment to buy. Love the burrito master.